Welcome to the ProKitchen Cloud Features Tutorial. ProKitchen Online gives designers access to unique features such as being able to work from anywhere in the world on any computer with internet access, the ability to save all design files to the cloud, share designs through the cloud, and also an online admin tool to track time spent in ProKitchen, organize design files, and edit designer accounts. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate just how these features work. Let's get started. ProKitchen Online allows you to work from anywhere in the world on any computer as long as you have internet access. Simply go to our website, ProKitchenSoftware.com, navigate to the ProKitchen Online page, sign in with your ProKitchen Online credentials, and then click Begin Your Design. Follow the on-screen instructions to get the program set up on your device, and you'll be good to go. There is no limit to how many devices you can have the program on, and you can also give as many designers as you wish access to the software with their own username and password. The only catch is that you can only have the number of designers logged in at the same time as you have licenses for. So for example, if you have one license of ProKitchen, only one designer can be working in ProKitchen at a time. If you have two licenses of ProKitchen, you can have two designers working in ProKitchen at the same time, and etc. Supervisors can manage and add designer accounts right in ProKitchen Online. To do so, navigate to your design settings by selecting the gear icon found in your top toolbar. Or, open the View and Settings tab at the top and select the Design Settings icon from the ribbon. In the Design Settings dialog box, navigate to the Users tab and then open the Designer sub tab. Select the Browse tab from the bottom to browse your current designer accounts and add new ones. In the separate dialog box that appears, you'll see all of the designers currently added to your account. To add new designers to your account, select the New button at the bottom of the Designers dialog box. In the New Designer dialog box, you can fill in all the information for your new designer. Fill in as much info as needed, but fill in at least the required areas. The designer's last name, their email, this will be their username to log into ProKitchen with, and then at least one phone number and then give them a password. The password you set for them will be their password to log into ProKitchen with. Then, once all of their info is set, click OK to save and add their account. Back in the Designers dialog box, you can manage and edit any of your designer's accounts at any time. To do so, simply select the account you want to edit and then click the Edit button below. Here, you'll be able to update any of their contact information and also adjust their username and password. Once edited, click OK to save their information. If you wish to delete a designer account, simply select their account and then click the Delete button below. Be aware that when you delete designer accounts, you will also be deleting all of their design files created under their username and password. So you'll want to make sure you get those files before you delete their account if you need them. Storing your design files in the cloud makes it convenient for you to easily open them from any device with ProKitchen on it. This eliminates the hassle of storing your files on a third-party storage drive or emailing the files back and forth. When you're ready to save your design file to the cloud, simply click the Save icon found in your top toolbar. This will automatically launch the cloud, and you can then choose where in the cloud you want to store this file. By default, you'll have one main folder titled My Designs. You can save all your files in this folder, or you can create subfolders inside of the My Designs folder using the Add Folder tool in the top toolbar of the cloud. 
Give the new folder a name and then click OK. Your My Designs folder will then open and select your new subfolder. Now, to save your design to that folder, double check that the design file name you want to save this as in the field area at the bottom, and then click Save. Once your design is successfully saved, ProKitchen will inform you, and you can then click OK to dismiss the notification. If you wish to save your design as in the cloud, meaning save it under a new location in the cloud, or save the design file as with a new name to create duplicates or copies of the file, Navigate to the File menu up top and then select the Save As tab from the left. Now, click the Cloud icon to launch the cloud. In the cloud, you can rename your file at the bottom and then select the folder you wish to save the design under. Then, click Save to save it as under the new name and location. Designers can share their designs with the other designers added to your ProKitchen account through the cloud too. To do so, navigate to the file menu up top and select the Share Design tab from the left. In the Share Design dialog box that appears, you can select how you want this design to be shared. Check the first box to share your design with the other designers in read-only format. This will let them view the design, but won't allow them to make any changes to the design file. Check the second box to share your design with the other designers and allow them to open, view, and edit the design file. Then select your shared designs folder. This is the folder in the cloud where all the shared designs between designers will be stored. Then click OK. To open designs saved or shared in the cloud, select the Open tool in your top toolbar. ProKitchen will ask you where you'd like to open a file from, and you can then select Load from Cloud option. This will launch the cloud and let you browse for the design file you wish to open. Supervisors will see three main folders in the cloud, My Designs, which is their personal designs, other designers, which is their designers' files saved in their cloud, and shared designs, which is where all the files shared between designers are stored. The designers that share the file, their name will be in parentheses next to the file name. Designers who load designs from the cloud will just see their My Designs folder and the Shared Designs folder. The tools in the top toolbar of the cloud let you easily organize your folders and designs. Add folder to add new folders and subfolders. Cut and paste folders to move folders from one location to another. Delete to delete folders. Rename to rename folders. And then sort folders to sort them by name ascending or descending. All of these tools can also be accessed simply by right-clicking on a folder. In the toolbar above the designs area, you have tools to cut and paste designs to move them from one folder to another, sort to sort them by name ascending or descending, or also by date and time ascending or descending, and then a design backups button to hide or show the design's backup panel on the right-hand side. The cut and paste tools can also be accessed by right-clicking on a design file, along with some additional quick access tools. If there is one or several backup files of your selected design, they will appear in the backups panel on the right and you can select them to open the backup file of that design instead of its original design file. They are named as the date and time the backup file was created. These are used mainly for if you find a design file won't open properly or if the file won't open because it states that it is corrupted. 
The other three tools in the top right hand corner of the cloud let you change the layout of how your designs are displayed. The default is icon view, which is displays a preview image of the design file and its file name below it. List view displays the designs in a list format with a small thumbnail image of the design on the left and its file name on the right. And table view displays just the file name on the left and the date that it was last revised on on the right. At the bottom, you can click the Rename Design button to rename a selected design, Delete Design to delete a selected design, and Search by Name to quickly search for a specific design file stored in the cloud. Once you've selected the design you wish to open, click the Open button at the bottom and the design file will open in your ProKitchen program. The other powerful ProKitchen online feature is the Admin Tool. The Admin Tool is a web browser-based tool that provides administrators or supervisors with the information of their ProKitchen account, allows them to keep track of the time spent on all design projects, and add or edit all designer accounts, manage design files stored in the cloud. Log into the Admin Tool using your ProKitchen online credentials. Then, on the home screen, you'll see the information about your ProKitchen Online account, and also see the designers that are currently logged into ProKitchen Online and working. Selecting the Users tab on the left will display all of the users you have added to your ProKitchen account. You can click to select one and delete their account by selecting the Delete User button below, or Use the Add User button to add a new user account. Fill out the information requested, and again, the email and password you fill in for them will be their credentials to log into ProKitchen with. If you select a user, you can then click the Show User Info button below to show that user's information and modify it. You will also be able to see a full report of the time they have spent in ProKitchen. At the bottom, you can use the Date From and Date To boxes to filter and choose specific dates you want to run a report of their time for. Click the Refresh Reports button to refresh the report based on your newly selected dates. And once refreshed, you can save the report to your computer as a PDF or Excel file by clicking the PDF or Excel buttons. You can run time reports for multiple users at once by selecting the Reports tab on the left. Use the checkboxes next to each user to select however many users you want to run a time report for. Then, use the Date To and From boxes again to filter the dates you wish to run a report from, and then click Generate Report. The reports will appear at the bottom, displaying the user, their start time, end time, duration, and application. Again, you can then save the report as a PDF or Excel file by using the buttons below. The Designs tab on the left lets you organize the files stored in the cloud from ProKitchen. You'll see the, your three main folders again, and you can double left click on them to open. At the bottom, you have the tools you need to add folders, rename folders and files, cut and paste folders and files, delete folders and files, and upload files to the cloud. The last tab is the Configuration tab. This tab lets you enable or disable certain features in your ProKitchen. The checkboxes next to each feature is enabled when the box is checked. To disable a feature, simply uncheck the box and then scroll down to the bottom and click the Save button. After it's saved, that feature will no longer be available to your users in ProKitchen. To re-enable them, simply just check the box again and then click Save. And that's it! 
Now you're ready to start working with the powerful online tools integrated with ProKitchen.